Bowling Green, where New York City was founded, where America's first park stands, and where so much American history has taken place, is sadly and unfortunately bathed in too much darkness. It should glow brightly in the evening sky for New Yorkers and visitors from around the globe. It is my Christmas wish for the future for all of us. I am Arthur Piccolo, chairman of the Bowling Green Association, and this is my video Christmas and Hanukkah holiday card. There is not complete darkness at Bowling Green at the holiday season here, but a rather modest reflection of what should be. While Bowling Green Park and Plaza stands largely in darkness, and the Alexander Hamilton U.S. Custom House, and maybe most of all Arturo de Modica's great bronze charging bull, which arrived here on December 20th, 1989, 26 years ago, as I write, stands in darkness. Once the sun sets, each day. Of Santa's reindeer, so sad at the North Pole, from what they heard on the twelve o'clock news. army stop pleading and mama said they'll be helping out soon
The one achievement that stands in contrast this holiday season is the Bowling Green Menorah for the Festival of Lights, and another reason Bowling Green should glow in December and all year long after dark. We also no longer have the magnificent Bowling Green Christmas tree that certainly brought a delightful glow to Bowling Green each December from 1986 until 2005. So, my holiday wishes for the future, for 2016, and every year thereafter, that all of Bowling Green next December will be brilliantly illuminated to everyone's delight for both Christmas and Hanukkah, and that the towering Christmas tree will once again grace Bowling Green just behind Charging Bowl, and with the Bowling Green menorah once again in the center of the park, and with the Alexander Hamilton U.S. Custom House shining brightly in both the north and south plazas. Let me conclude this holiday video card with Silent Night for a very special reason that directly relates to Lower Manhattan. The most famous Christmas carol of all, Silent Night, was sung in America for the very first time at Alexander Hamilton's gravesite in Trinity Churchyard on Christmas Eve, 1839. Silent night, holy night. Now it is time a year from now, in December 2016, to do much, much more at Bowling Green and throughout Lower Manhattan for Christmas and Hanukkah, to bring a joyous glow to fill Bowling Green and our minds and hearts. Happy Holidays from Bowling Green.